Well, good afternoon again. We've got some beautiful blue sky out there right now, and a lot of us got to see it this morning too, but there was fog in some spots, and it was pretty intense in some areas. This view, though, really cool. We've got a little frost on the grass, and then in addition to that, that sun shining through, that fog created this. It's faint, but you can make it out, that fog bow uh, that was there. And this was sent to us from Curtis. Thanks for sharing that photo again. And again, we're still enjoying blue sky. This is a live view on our uh, camera here in Fargo at the station looking toward downtown Fargo looking nice and bright and uh, really pretty out there. we will still need the jacket though. We're looking at temperatures still in the 40s in spots, especially over into Minnesota. Looking at some mid 40s in Detroit Lakes. We're at 46 degrees. Wadena's at 46. It's 48 over in Devil's Lake and then there are places making their way into the 50s. Fargo at 52 degrees right now. So uh, looking at some, you know, typical October temperatures at the moment. The wind is lighter out to the west over to the east. In fact, we have calm conditions in the west to the east. We're looking at some winds out of the north, so cooler air and uh, we're seeing some gusts up to 20 miles per hour in Bidette and Thief River Falls is at 18 miles per hour for a gust there and in our eastern viewing area. That's where we're closer to that big low we just talked about. We have a few clouds trying to back in into the uh, Lake of the Woods area, Bidette back over to Roseau, Red Lake area as well, and this may continue to happen as we work our way into the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight. So that might start blocking out the sun for you a little bit, but it'll be good for later to tonight in the overnight hours. Here's a look again at that big low there and it might just wobble a little bit westward. And so while we're on the edge of that, uh, we will see more of those clouds drifting in. So let's take a look at our hour by hour planner. We're going to see those temperatures rise a little bit more this afternoon, but it really isn't going to warm up a lot. We're going to get into the 50s low to some upper 50s. You see out by Bismarck 60 or so. I can't rule that out for some of us, uh, but in general, an afternoon in the 50s. Wind on the lighter side for those of us along the Red River and west. Again, a little stronger, closer to where we have the clouds. And then heading into this evening should be a pleasant night. If you do have to maybe do the gutter clean out or maybe do some raking, take care of those uh, winter weather preps here. It's looking pretty good. I uh, just want that jacket again. And then later tonight, here come the clouds. Temperatures will start dropping. This is the 11 o'clock hour. We'll be in the upper 30s to some low 40s like last night, but the difference will be here is that we see some of these clouds drifting in into tomorrow morning and that can act in an insulating way. So it helps to prevent us from a uh, cooling down as much. We're looking at some upper 30s to low 40s where we have the clouds hanging around overnight where we remain clear. That's where we have the potential of dropping back into uh, that sub freezing range and having some frosty conditions and uh, potential freeze going on. So that's happening for us over the next uh, several hours tonight and then another quiet day ahead on Wednesday, but we've been talking about that rain chance for the end of the week. So I want to focus on that a little bit here heading into Thursday. Look at all that rain and even snow in the upper elevations to the southwest. This is all part of a system that's going to be uh, working its way through the region. And right now, the heart of it looks like it'll be passing south of us, but we'll still see that chance for some rain, especially in our southern viewing area. Thursday night and into Friday, there'll be some wind with that as well, and then that will depart. So that's what we're watching for the end of the week. Looking at temperatures, not as cold in the morning hours Thursday and Friday, thanks to that wind and that system moving in. And then the weekend, some 50s coming up for Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, still keeping an eye out for clouds potentially for the partial eclipse. So we'll keep you updated on that. Stay tuned. Yeah, Saturday, I mean, 53, 52 on a weekend. Not looking terrible. It's no 60s, but yeah. we'll, take, we'll take 50s as well. Yeah, we'll keep things on the dry side. You know, the, the leaves are changing color. Some yes. of us are even getting past peaks. So yep. we'll still have some opportunity to take in those colors, and it'll at least be on the dry side for you to do that. Well, that's some good news.